Hey friends, good morning. So it's actually already about 10.30 ish. I had a pretty busy morning, um, was on back to back calls and a bunch of emergency calls with my teammates. And yeah, this is just, I guess, the beginning of the busy season, especially because right before the holidays, my company does have something called a change freeze or a code freeze or whatever you want to call it because they don't want things breaking down and stuff when you are or when a lot of the team is out on vacation or out of office. So yeah, because of that, it's been very busy for my team. We are basically trying to wrap things up for the year. But yeah, there's definitely been a few hiccups along the way. But we're just been working through it, chugging along. And today has been one of those mornings ever since I logged in. Um, I've just been on calls, catching up on things that was working out yesterday. And a lot of our projects also end towards this end of the year time. Yeah, we have about maybe 10 deliverables as a team that we need to get submitted and completed within like the next few weeks. So a lot of it is just working with different development teams. And along with that, I think you guys are also aware I work on a lot of Python scripting. So I haven't been doing that as much in the last day or two, just because it's been so busy with my other work that I have. Like the Python stuff is really on top of my daily work. It's kind of like an extra side project that I work on um, for my manager and whatever projects that kind of come in. It's a lot more ad hoc compared to the time that I spent actually working with development teams and cybersecurity teams. So yeah, that's kind of my day so far. It's been kind of hectic. I have a lot of meetings lined up today too. So let me look at my calendar. It's actually been a while since I gave you guys like a calendar overview. So I have an office hours call in about 10, 20 minutes. And then I have a one-on-one -on -one with someone else in my team, in my broader team, just to learn more about what they do and what their team does. And then I have another call. It's, it's kind of like presentation. Um, but I'm mostly gonna be sitting in on that since someone else on my team is presenting. And then I have a team call after that, which is after lunch. And then I have another team call at three o'clock, which is really gonna be about some of the projects we're working on. But um, for this call, the project that I was working on that's relevant to this specific team call is already completed or was completed a few weeks ago. So I don't think I have any updates for that. So I'll probably just be sitting in. And then after that, I have another call with another development team just to go over um, more in depth about their application, providing them some resources from our team to help them. Yeah, that's my day. So back-to-back uh, -back meetings until about three, four, four o'clock actually. Um, so yeah, that, that's always exciting and fun. Um, I actually had breakfast. I haven't touched it, but I'm about to eat it. I got a breakfast sandwich, and it's also been a little bit busy because because one of our cats actually had hernia surgery. So we were taking care of her. She's actually on the floor here under a blanket <laughs> she has this little soft cone on her she's she's not having the best few days yeah you guys can just see her just laying there <laughs> poor girl yeah we gotta have her um wrapped up in this little blanket but she's okay she's just a little out of it so yeah with that i'm probably gonna just go eat breakfast now um since i have like 10 minutes before my next call also wearing this jacket it is cold yes i'm wearing a jacket indoors um, i was gonna put on a sweater but then the sweater i'm wearing is actually really thin so i just put this on and it's it's a windbreaker so it keeps the warmth in i guess and so yeah as you can see fashion is not in right now to Bengo. We're gonna get that Bye. boba. The weather is 70 degrees today. Amazing. Like the fall leaves are so nice right now. And for some reason today is like 70 degrees. Even though it is closing towards the end of November, early December, like it's crazy. No, my sunflower. <laughs> Hey. All right, let's just take it off then. Should we try on the shark again? So we got her this new cone because the other one looked like too thick when she was drinking water, it would get wet. And this one's also lighter because it's thinner. It's a sunflower, but oh, she's a bit angry today. Yeah, I don't think she likes this very much. It's a cone of shame. Yeah, we're just gonna let her sit in it. But yeah, we basically got her this new cone and we also called the vet earlier because She's having some tummy issues. 
So we're picking her up some antibiotics later today. Um, probiotics. Probiotics, yes. It's the antibiotics that's making her tummy upset. Yeah, it's that cat mom life. She's having a rough few days. She's probably going to have to stay like this for the next week and a half or two weeks because... Let's put the shot back on. Originally she was picking at her, her stitches, so... Hey guys, it is about 1.30 right now and one of my meetings actually got canceled So I have a little bit of a break until my next meeting and I have a few things on my to-do list I've had piled up actually since last week Okay, so one of them is looking into the differences between selenium and robotic automation And those are two options I had for this project I was working on It's gonna be pretty hard to work on that with all the other projects that are gonna be going on before that change freeze and then another thing is looking into this query, this SQL query. So normally I don't use SQL at work, but there are a few data points that our team uses that we pull from a database. And so that's usually when I use SQL. This one specifically is another Python script with SQL on it. I was working on a few months ago or yeah, about, about a few months ago. And then I have a lot of outreach as part of my role as well. So I reach out to a bunch of different application teams. I think staying organized especially is really useful. Um, like at work, it's really nice to have kind of like a notepad or something that you use. I used to use just a normal text file to keep track of all of my to-dos I have. But now that my work has gotten more complex and I can't just copy like an Excel spreadsheet into a notepad because it's literally a text file. Um, my company does let me use OneNote. So I think some companies have like Google Drive, OneNote, um, Evernote or whatever note taking app that your company might have. Um, or just Google Word Doc, honestly. Word Docs, I used to use those, um, but then I would have to individually open up each of them if I was looking for something, but with OneNote, I can just look through a whole bunch of documents in one screen, which is very convenient. So yeah, I'm just looking through my notes. Okay guys, we are going into my last call of the day. I just have a call at 3 30 so in about 15 my last two calls went well i was mostly sitting in on them and following up with my team lead since we had to write up some meeting minutes from our team calls and yeah i think those are just some of the administrative things that you have in most corporate roles i think i read in a study recently 50 percent of your day is spent doing like your work work and then the other 30 40 50 percent is spent doing like administrative stuff basically in between meetings yeah so basically it's kind of like 50 percent is actual productive stuff that you're doing for your role and the rest is meetings i mean not saying meetings aren't productive um there are a lot of meetings that are and then there's some meetings where you're kind of sitting in and listening and usually in those ones I multitask but obviously that's not like something people push about um, because multitasking isn't necessarily good for your productivity but sometimes I do get like minor work done when I'm sitting on meetings I'm just listening into that's honestly kind of what my days are about 50 50 meetings versus other stuff and for my next call I do have to do a presentation or not really a presentation but I'm gonna be kind of leading the call so I had to prep some stuff it's relatively quick but I do have to pull up some documents because I'm gonna be sharing my screen yeah that's kind of what the day looks like it's so weird to me that the sun is setting so quickly nowadays so you're on four o'clock it already starts setting and that honestly brings my mood down a little bit but I think it's okay for now since we're heading towards the holidays but I don't know if I announced this originally on my channel yet, but I will be going back to the office. So we'll look a little different in our work logs. Yeah, we're just going to be moving back in the interim. Um, have a lot of stuff we had to do beforehand before getting back there because obviously our whole lives have been kind of not in the city for the last year and a half, maybe two years. It's like dentists, doctors. So yeah, it's basically like I'm moving out all over again. And that's going to be an interesting experience, I think. And besides that, I did plan some time off for the end of the year. I don't even feel like 2020 passed already, but it's already basically going to be two years since 2020 started. And yeah, time flies by fast when you're having fun, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to get ready for my call. And then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. just finished my last meeting and that went pretty well so i basically just did a brief demo with one of the teams that i'm working with and i think it went pretty well um the deadline is in two weeks essentially yeah honestly i feel like 
a lot of the work that I am working with dev teams on is really just extra and that's why I try to make it as easy as possible for them and a lot of times they don't have time at all to give to give to other projects and I also was connecting with someone else on my team just on new projects that we might have coming up probably gonna have a call about that tomorrow so yeah I'll keep you guys updated on that but but besides that, I don't really have that much else that really, really needs my attention today before I log off. Um, I am pretty tired just because it's been a really weird week. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it is, going towards the holidays. I thought you can't drink this. Okay, no, I don't like that they gave me so much pearl. It comes with boba, but I meant to say to replace the boba with this thing called tea jelly. It's kind of like coffee jelly, um, but it's tea flavored. And I also got white pearl, which is kind of like black pearl, but it's a lot chewier. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap up for the day. I might go outside for a walk. Also, my eye bags have been getting so bad, and I read online that usually it's because of lack of sunlight. Yeah, it's not gonna get any better going into winter, so I might as well just try to go outside. And yeah, it's already like the sun is setting. It's it's dark. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm sitting in front of a window, and it's already like Let's go outside. gray. And it's only 4.30, you know? Vitamin D. Hi guys, we're off to get food. How much is there? The darkness. They can't, they can't, they down. Guys, she finally slept in the bed, oh my god. All right, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along with me today. Let me know in the comments below what videos you guys might wanna see from me. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.